OK. Um, so what they're asking us to do for this problem is to solve, right? To solve by factoring. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that I want you to look at is you see it's to the fourth power, right? Um, but let's just go back and kind of worry about what if it was not to the fourth power? What if this was t squared minus 21t plus 80 equals 0? So if I needed to factor this, we know that my first two terms would have to be t times t, right? Because t times t would give me t squared. And I'm, we're going to learn about how to factor this next. But now what I need to do is my, if I want to do the t to the fourth, that just means my first two terms need to multiply to give me t to the fourth. So I could have t squared times t squared. Because t squared times t squared is going to give me t to the fourth. And then when I combine my like terms, I'll have t squared as a middle term. All right. So how do we go about factoring this? Well, the same way we can go about factoring all of our problems to solve it. We take our a times c, which in this case is 80. And then we take our b, which in this case is negative 21. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and say, what, is, uh, what two numbers multiply to give you positive 80, but then add to give you a negative 21? Since they're going to add to give us a negative 21, uh, we know they're both going to have to be negative because they multiply to give us a positive number. So we say negative 16 and negative 5 worked. So we write those in there. Since our a is equal to 0, we can write them in there equal to 0. Now we solve. So now we apply the zero product property. Okay, Add 16 to the other side. Add 5. Yep. Then we apply the square root. And you can say t equals plus or minus 4. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking the square root. You have to include the positive and the negative. And here, we cannot take the square root of 5. So we're just going to leave that plus or minus the square root of 5. Well, we can take square root of 5. We, we want to leave it as an exact answer. So those would be your two solutions. OK? Yeah.